गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबॉडी दिस इज संगीता सक्सेना एडिटर एविएशन एंड डिफेंस यूनिवर्स गेटिंग यू लाइव फ्रॉम सिंगापुर एयर शो 2024 एंड वी आर हियर टुडे एट द ब्रह्म मॉस व्हिच इज अ नेम व्हिच गिव्स अ ग्रेट प्राइड टू इंडियंस वर्ल्ड ओवर एंड वी हैव विद अस मिस्टर प्रवीण पाठक हु इज डायरेक्टर मार्केटिंग प्रमोशंस एंड एक्सपोर्ट वेलकम प्रवीण जी टू आई डू चैट रूम जस्ट वंडरफुल टू हैव यू हियर एंड सो नाइस टू सी ब्रह्म मॉस we india and indians take pride in the fact that brahmos is we like to call it indian thank you thank you ma'am good morning to everyone uh, we are here in uh, the singapore air show 2024 and uh, as uh, the flag bearer of uh, the world's best supersonic cruise missile as we know that brahmos is a supersonic cruise missile which can be installed on ships on land platforms and air uh, platforms as well Uh, Singapore is a very important uh, hub, uh, I would say, because uh, it is connected to many countries uh, across, uh, which uh, have a keen interest in the product what we are uh, marketing. Uh, we had already had a number of delegations from the nearby countries, including, uh, of course, uh, Singapore also, and uh, they were quite fruitful. And we are very hopeful that in uh, future. will be able to move ahead and materialize some of them into orders to move uh, towards the goal whatever honorable prime minister has given to all the defense industries to achieve uh, a bigger target and make india a exporting nation so that india can be called uh, make in india and make for the world absolutely and when we are here and uh, you know we also know that uh, brahmos has uh, offerings for all the three services so uh, what is the, generally the strategy you would uh, like to have in this area this, this area is very very much uh, locked by water so uh, is navy going to be your priority or are the armies and the air forces of this region also going to be priority for uh, a marketing strategy as we see that uh, and we know that brahmos uh, was conceptualized as a anti ship uh, missile in the very beginning and then we had uh, the other derivatives for against land and uh, the air application which can fire against land as well as sea so brahmos is uh, one missile which is truly universal which can be fired from uh, land from sea and for aircraft and praveen ji actually you know uh, keeping in mind that this region is totally locked by water so are we going to give priority only to the naval missiles or armies and air forces of these region will also get some priority from brahmos and offerings will be for them also my mind you rightly said that this uh, region is uh, all the countries are surrounded by a water uh, so of course uh, and brahmos was conceptualized as a anti ship missile uh, so we have uh, different systems to offer being a universal missile we have the systems which can be based on the ship it can be a shore based weapon complex which can be mounted on uh, vehicles or it can be a airborne uh, system also but uh, for this reason uh, the main interest what we have seen uh, is basically for the shore based weapon complex and ship based versions for which uh, we are in discussion with a uh, few countries and we hope uh, we will be able to achieve uh, some more positive results in the time to come and uh, also that we do have a lot of competition and uh, you have the americans and the europeans also trying to send their missiles they are all here at the show and uh, so how would you like to tell the world what is different about brahmos which will absolutely be appropriate for these forces which the others would not have what we generally say brahmos is a supersonic cruise vessel first of all whatever is being offered uh, i think no one can match the type of uh, specification we provide it's 2.8 mat missile the maximum uh, missiles which are being offered in by other countries are subsonic uh, brahmos is the only supersonic cruise missile which has a range of 290 kilometers it's the only missile which has been launched and proved in various configurations uh, um, from sea from land from air more than 100 uh, times we have launched the missile so its source and the success rate is very huge uh so it shows uh, the type of uh, capabilities the missile uh, possesses and uh, also its use of uh, how easily it can be used it's a very user friendly missile the maintenance is uh, very less so when we calculate the overall life cycle cost of uh, a weapon uh, brahmos is going to be leading any other weapon uh, whatsoever 
we provide a life cycle of uh, 10 years with uh, very little maintenance whereas uh, we have seen other missiles which are there in the market they require once in six months overhauling and repairs which we don't have so yeah, if we see the holistic uh, picture all together Romos is very user friendly it's uh, cost effective uh, being uh, having a long uh, service life and a very low maintenance and Mr. Patek, you know what, there's one very important factor which comes into my mind, I think should be coming to everyone's, that Brahmos is also a Russian collaboration. Now, with keeping that in mind, uh, the war in Russian, uh, Russia and Ukraine has you know, put Russia into a little isolation with the rest of the world. Has it affected the marketing and sales of Brahmos? Uh, Ma'am, uh, uh, what... Uh I would like to say in today's world, uh, everywhere collaborations uh, is the next trend. Uh, countries collaborate with each other to share the technology benefits and uh, to make uh, their products more, uh, uh, I would say, with more better specifications. So India has a long-term relationship with Russia. Uh, Brahmos is, uh, as everyone knows, it's a joint venture with Russia. But uh, Brahmos Aerospace uh, is a Indian company established as per the Indian uh, Companies Act. And uh, the final product, whichever company is uh, delivering the final product, the product is considered or from that country. So when we deliver Brahmos to any of our partner, it goes as a product from India. Uh, as uh, we all are aware that 100% uh, the integration of the missile, complete missile, the checkout uh, and the quality assurance all is done in India. So um, the product, what we say is an Indian product. Right, and uh, which is a very good thing to know, you know, because uh, then at the end of the day it makes it easier for uh, everybody else in the world to understand this fact. Uh, we have a great missile, sir, and uh, we have a good marketing strategy so uh, where now how many countries at the moment and how many do you presume uh, by the end of this year uh, we see adding into the list of uh, our clients uh, ma'am uh, we are in discussion with number of uh, countries uh, we have already signed the contract with one country uh, a few years back uh, and uh, we are very close uh, in negotiations and technical discussion with few more countries but uh, it's not the right time to disclose any names. Uh, whenever uh, it happens, uh, it will be known and we'll be more than happy to share it with you. Right. And at the end of uh, the interview, sir, I'd like to ask you, uh, is Brahmos planning uh, for itself more uh, partnerships, more supply chain? Uh, what is the level of supply chain we have? How much of Make in India have been we able to do? And can it can it be Make in India and Make for the World like the Prime Minister says? Um, definitely, uh, it's a very good question. As you know, Brahmos is the flag bearer for Make in India. We have started uh, involving our industries from the very first day we started the R&D process. We have taken our industries together. Today, we have more than 205 Indian industries which participate with us directly or indirectly for making various systems and subsystems for the weapon, uh, for the complete weapon complex. Uh, the 100% uh, ground-based equipments are made in India. Then uh, when we talk about the same uh, the missile, uh, in today's day we are making uh, almost um, uh, even little more than 70% of the missile in India. So, and the complete integration takes place in India and the missile rolls out from our facilities in India. So, uh, I would say that uh, we are very much uh, agreeing uh, to the Make in India and Make for the World uh, logo what our Honorable Prime Minister has uh, given to us. Thank you so much Mr. Patek, that was wonderful speaking with you.